there, I'm Paula from Fairy Chic Emporium and today I've got this little commission job to do and I'm going to show you a new technique. Um, this is the suitcase and the lady who's given me the job wants to make it into a vintage memory box for her daughter. So as you can see, it's in pretty, pretty reasonable condition inside. I have sanded um, down a bit. I'm not going to try and rip out the whole thing. I think it will cause more problems to do that. So I'm going, I've just sanded it to make sure there's no bits sticking out. And I'm going to give the whole thing a coat um, or, or two coats of whiteout because I have got some tissue paper and I'm going to show you how to print out our own decoupage to put all over it. But I'm going to show you later on, but as always with decoupage, the background needs to be the same colour as the background of the decoupage which is white so hence the choice of white out so i shall crack on and get this all done and then we'll get to the decorative bit which will be more fun see you then good morning a new day so last night i spent my evening um making and creating these the customer's daughter has just qualified from a musical theater course and so she found me lots of images of um posters from musical theater so what I did was, now this is the technique I'm talking about, is I had a lot of tissue paper, like this, you can see it's, it's thin, but it is still coloured white. And then I've just used masking tape to tape round three sides to a bit of lined paper. You could use, it doesn't have to be lined, just it's what we had. And then I've popped it into the printer, masking tape down, that, that way up, and printed off all of these images and then we have torn round to, to, to uh, tear them out so this is what I'm left with lots of lovely of my own created decoupage so if you wanted to for example do a wedding case see this is what it came out like now it definitely needed to dry overnight because obviously it's very thin tissue and it was very wet when it was loaded up with colour so then we've just torn out round the edge so if you wanted to do a wedding one, as I said, you could. Um, so you could personalise something with whatever image you want. So what I did was I printed off a load of full colour ones, but I also used the same images and put a filter through them. So you can see this is the same image. So these are all slightly more subdued. Now I'm going to do the subdued ones on the inside of the case and the bright coloured ones on the outside. I thought that would just make a nice contrast when you opened it. So, all I'm going to do now is back to normal decoupage, which is obviously finishing cream. This time I haven't got two backs to get rid of, because it's not a napkin. And I'm just liberally brushing the finishing cream where I want my image. a little bit more now the important thing is to use a soft brush because you don't want to tear the paper but look at that it's even brightening the colors up a little bit i think which is quite cool so i'm going to be higgledy piggledy placing the tissues that i've printed all over this case and then I'm going to see what we've got and whether it looks okay as it is or whether I need to age it a bit more. But the first process is getting all of these in place. Overlapping a bit maybe, crisscross different angles. So I'll come back when I'm a little bit further down the road in that to show you how it's progressing. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so I just thought I'd show you where we're at. As you can see, it's taking shape. It's looking really cool. Um, and to explain that, I haven't worried about the edges. I know that needs to be cut. I know this is all, I've just literally, I'm covering it at the moment and drying it and I will then sort it out. So this is a corner and I'm just manipulating it. Now it's not gonna be perfect by any means, but I'm just, it doesn't matter if a bit of it gets overlapped and gets a little bit scrunched, as you can see. So I've just stuck the first bit on the top in place. And now I'm just using my brush to poke into, this is gonna to have to be cut 
once it's dry but that's okay as long as it and then I'll be able to seal it a bit more with the finishing cream once it's done but I am literally using my brush to manipulate it around the corner and this is the beauty of being able to use tissue paper you couldn't do this with normal printable paper because it's too thick but tissue paper will bend and mold just like a napkin will so you just got to take a bit of time at it and if it tears a bit well so be it this is supposed to be vintage so I'll come back when I've got a bit further and I'll show you then so I've covered it all I've, I've put um, several coats of the finishing cream over the top to keep it um, safe I've then rubbed back with sandpaper the catches because although I really like the look of the nap or tracing paper over it because of the movement it was gonna it was never gonna stay looking tidy so I'm now in the process of using acrylic paints and just some little artist ones just to obviously that needs another coat to fill in some of the white and make it look funky all over so now I'm onto a, a small paintbrush and just some careful touching up and tidying up bits so when I've got a bit further with that, I'll show you, but we're very nearly finished now. See you in a bit. Right, so my last bit to finish it off is to use this IOD stamp just to, in my stays on pad, to write in this higgledy biggledy type musical theatre. I think it will just finish it off lovely. So I just wanted to show you me doing it. So I'll come back and show you when it's all done. Right, so we're all finished and I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm just going to give you a little talk about how we finished it off. So obviously we used acrylic here and different colours here. And I like the fact that it's all different and not uniform and not expected. We did talk about possibly doing the corners, but decided we liked it the way it was. There was a little key that came with it and I've painted it and put a little M. And M is for Maisie. And inside... We finished off the stamping with an IOD stamp and then we personalised it. Obviously it's inside so it doesn't really matter. It's And then we've got the more faded look, same posters, same positioning of the one on there as on there if you see. I quite like that. And we've made sure that we have covered it all round everywhere so that when you're carrying it, it looks right in all situations. So. There you have it. I really love the retro, vintage, funky. It's the funkiest thing I've done for ages. And I really like the tissue paper technique because the tissue paper was much stronger than paper napkin. So you could use quite a hard brush, a big brush, and put some effort into laying it down. It felt stronger and less fragile. So if you're new to decoupage, definitely recommend trying some tissue paper because it's stronger. And then it's had coats and coats of finishing cream over the top to protect it and secure it and keep it weatherproof you'll be able to wipe it down so now I need to treat very carefully overnight to get it to properly cure and go off although it has been dried with a hairdryer so have a go at this until the next time thank you very much for watching